Hi guys and welcome to today's video! I hope you all are doing really well and I don't know why I'm so excited because today's video is not about something that I love, it is actually about perfumes that make me sick and uh, I'm doing this <laughs> which makes lots of my viewers to feel sick. I know, I got your comments, but I just can't help myself. When I get too excited, I start to move and get all over the place and perfumes that I'll talk about in today's video make me go crazy and they all are in front of me. So if there is such a fragrance that makes you feel sick, please comment down below. I really want to open up this discussion and I'm sure that there is that one perfume that everybody has in its life that just uh, makes you feel all sorts of different unpleasant things. I have quite a lot of them and I'll try to explain why they make me feel sick and what exactly do I feel when I smell them and I want you to do the same. I want all of us to chat together and let's do that in a very friendly manner and with that being said, if you haven't subscribed already, make sure to do so and if you want to find out about perfumes that make me feel real good, please check out the description box there. I'll leave a few links for you and maybe if you have any question or suggestion for future videos, I'm always open for them. Definitely Definitely let me know all your thoughts in the comments and let's go! Okay, you guys, let's get started with a fragrance that I have never mentioned on my channel and it is The One by Dolce & Gabbana. Well, first of all, I really love Dolce & Gabbana as a fashion brand. I mean, like their clothing line is to die for. Absolutely my style. I know that's not really the topic that I'm discussing in this video, but I just want to tell you that their clothing, their fashion is spot on, but none of their fragrances worked out for me, which is such a pity because I really enjoy their vibe and I was pretty sure that I'll also enjoy their taste in perfumery, but um, no we live for different things. Anyway, the now perfume that came out somewhere around 2007, I believe, and I remember I had a bottle of it in Ukraine. Yes, believe it or not. I didn't have lots of perfumes when I was a teenager. I remember I was working some designer and niche perfumes and I don't know why I got the bottle of um, the one by Dolce & Gabbana. I think that was a gift from someone. I can't really imagine myself going to a shop picking it. I don't remember that moment. I actually remember how I requested all of my perfumes and I don't know how this one ended up in my collection. So anyway, with that being said, what is so sicky about this fragrance? Well, first of all, it's not a bad perfume, okay? Don't get me wrong. It's a nice scent. It's actually... It's so <laughs> It's super powerful and I remember I actually like it. Like back in the days, there weren't as many perfumes as there are right now and um, I loved always... Um, something with character. It shouldn't be like alien boom in your face, we'll talk about it a little bit later, but I wanted something that wasn't just like um, a nicely scented water. I wanted a full-bodied perfume and the one is actually a full-bodied perfume indeed. It has lots of things on its mind and it's heavy, it's just too heavy. In the first moment you're like, oh, it's interesting, it's like powdery, deep, delicious, it's sort of fruity but at the same time just so orientally warm and ambery, but the thing is it turns cloying on my skin. It it tries to kill me, like literally, it, it, it wants to eat everything out of me and I'm like, oh gosh, please leave me alone, oh! <laughs> You know, like, that's how I feel about this perfume. I don't know what should I do. I don't know how can I, I escape that... Uh, blah. <laughs> that's literally the way I feel. Um, when you smell it on the paper, it's actually okay, but I'm very familiar with it, especially how annoying it gets. I get headache, 
I have something here in my throat. I feel real bad in here. I want to drink water. Like, I want to drink lots of water when I'm wearing this perfume. I want to breathe um, really, really intensely. I want to go out on the fresh air. This is not perfume for hot weather, too. I wore it in Ukraine in winter. It was really cold and it was still too much. And that's why it makes me sick. Actually, funny thing is that Eau de Toilette of the one is actually a way better fragrance and I definitely prefer it because it has very fizzy bubble gum scent and I actually like it and um, if you're like me and the one is just too much for you, I recommend you Eau de Toilette. With that being said, let's talk about Alien, shall we? Oh, you guys, if you have been following me for a while, you know how much I can't stand Alien. The thing with Alien is, this is character. This is one of a kind. This is very special perfume like no other. Legendary, iconic uh, signature for lots of people. I get everything of that. But there are people for whom this fragrance doesn't work. And that's me. The thing is, in the opening, the jasmine is spot on, but after a few minutes it gets... It's like alien that came from another planet, not to like help um, us and um, get uh, friends with us and just like um, build a nice relationship with different, um, between different planets and galaxies. It's like alien that came to destroy humanity with its odor. <laughs> It's, it's just the way it smells. I, I can't wear this perfume. Um, it's only for very, very, very cold weather. Otherwise, I don't know. Literally, everybody will die or someone might die if he smells it in like 40 degrees um, Celsius. The thing is, guys, it's just... Oh... Maybe if you can't smell things really well, if you're not sensitive to perfumes, if you can't get enough, if you really don't have good nose and you just need a strong perfume to be able to smell something, uh, maybe just in that case you might enjoy Alien. Um, there are actually nice uh, flankers of Aliens, like the pink one and the red one, those are wearable. The original Alien and the Eau de Parfum are unwearable. Aliens that came to destroy humanity on Earth. Yeah, well, sorry if you like it, but I don't. And uh, so, I don't like um, Job, Home, Home. Um, this perfume, oh, it's like... Mm, Heavy. It's a masculine fragrance. It smells manly. It smell. It doesn't smell bad, but it's like in the opening, it's okay. And I remember I did an apprenticeship um, in very very small perfume shop, and I tried that fragrance there, and it was super nice. Like in the opening, it kind of was like, oh, it's super cute. And then I I sprayed it on my skin. That was the major mistake that ruined it for me. That perfume has really bad reaction on my skin and it grows and grows and grows and it becomes huge like huge i'm telling you the projection the longevity they are out of this world and i don't need a perfume with that strength if you do you might want to check it out it smells sweet the sweetness is sort of messy it's unpleasant it makes you want to like okay now i need to drink a detoxifying cleansing smoothie because i have a feeling that i had something real really bad for me that's the feeling that i get i feel real bad you know like you at a mcdonald's or some fa uh, fast food and you're like Okay, next few days I need only to drink water, green tea, and eat only green stuff. That's the feeling that I get after that fragrance. Not cute, not cute. And the next one is another Dolce & Gabbana perfume. I'm telling you, I can't get along with them. It's actually super popular perfume, very loved fragrance. Um, I can't see why. First of all, it's this one, um, and the name is on the screen. I can't really pronounce it, like, no. Nah. I, I won't even try. Um, it's unique. There is nothing like it out there. Um, it makes me feel bad only in the opening. The dry down is actually nice. It smells of all delicious fruity things like watermelons. It has such strong 
strange and cool notes such as lemon tree and cyclamen, quite rare notes, but in the opening it's some kind of floral vomit. I'm sorry, it just smells so not clean, not ozonic, it smells aquatic, like fruity aquatic, and it's just like so, so sharp, like I, I, I just can't get over that sharpness. And in the dry on it's pleasant, but I mean like I want my perfume to be at least um, wearable in the opening it shouldn't be like super pleasant, um, except that I really want it to be enjoyable already in the opening, but I just don't want to wait until the dry down comes. So a lot of people love it. If you read reviews on Fragrantica, they are amazing, but for me that's just no, no, no. However, I recommend you to try it because at least it is unique and there is nothing like it out there. Okay guys, next perfumes are from Narcissa Rodriguez and those are um, red fragrances, the original one and the flanker. Oh boy, most cloying perfumes, even Alien. If I need to pick Alien or some of these, I would go for Alien, <laughs> believe it or not. These perfumes are so like head aching, not only head aching, I wanna literally to blah, like blah, sorry, I'm very, very, very sorry, if you love them, you go for them, but on me and even on the paper, I don't like that musk. I'm actually quite shocked that I will tell you that, but that is the most cloying musk in designer perfume that I have ever smelled. And you know Narcissa Rodriguez has lots of great fragrances, lots of great musky perfumes. These, I don't know, I, I, I don't know, like these are not elegant, these are not exquisite, these perfumes, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know, literally. I know people who wear it and I mean like that's great if they love them, but I just, I just can't see myself reaching out for that perfume and just like enjoying it all day long because after literally two seconds already in the opening I'm like okay I'm done I need to take a shower um, double shower just to make sure that everything is gone and uh, the thing is they are very strong as all of these perfumes maybe that's the thing that doesn't work for me they are just so intensely overwhelming right in your face and uh, they stay like that for quite a while. You know, it's about the dizzy feeling. It, it makes me dizzy, the dizziness is not really the vibe I'm going for, that's why it, do, it just doesn't really work for me, I'm sorry. But if you thought that only designer perfumes didn't work out for me, you're wrong, because I have the super popular, extremely overhyped fragrance by Maison Francois Courdijon that is called Baccarat Roche. 540 and I am that person in the team of those people for whom this fragrance smells like medicinal candy. Yeah, uh, very strong, very um, unpleasant. <laughs> it's like you're at your dentist's office, you're getting all sorts of things in your mouth, it's um uh, you have blood, it's ble um, you know, like everywhere around your mouth, you smell antiseptic, you smell uh, resin gloves, you smell something else like medicinal and sharp, and then you smell a perfume of your beautiful uh, dentist. That's literally how it smells. Oh, and uh, on the chair there is some girl who eats um, candies, literally, like it's candies perfume and medicine all together in that fragrance that won't go anywhere. You'll beg, you'll be like, please leave me alone. It have been so many hours. Please dry down. Please sink into my skin and go. And this fragrance is like, no, 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 no. I'll be with you. I'll make sure that you'll lose your mind. I'll, I'll make everything to make you feel extra sick. And I know that lots of people find it elegant and great and super expensive smelling. And I mean, like, it's sort of unique, even though I have already tested out celebrity perfumes that smell like it. If you want to see that video, check out that link. 
you know, we can even talk about Cerruti, shall we? I mean, like, that is a perfume that is a signature for so many, but, well, my um, childhood friend's mother wore it and they had a cat and uh, the perfume was in the toilet and cat's uh, toilet was also in the toilet. So it uh, was a mixture of uh, cat toilet's aroma and the Cerruti and all in all that chamomile, I don't know. I don't like that perfume at all. My boyfriend's mom also wears it and I just don't like it. But like, that's like a granny perfume for sure. And it's like not only that it's so old fashioned, it just, it doesn't smell clean. Clean. It sort of smells clean, but it smells dirty and not like pleasantly dirty, not like uh, sexy animalic dirty. It smells like, uh, please take a shower, you know, like just like that. It's just like makes me, uh, you know, like some people are sweaty. It doesn't smell of sweat, but it smells of something that is not clean. And I don't like that vibe at all. If I want something dirty, I'm going for obviously dirty or even like sexy dirty thing, but that's like really dirty, unpleasant human skin and even cat things that I don't really want perfume to smell like. But um, I mean, like, it depends. It's perfume, it's subjective of what uh, smells like a vomit to some. Might smell like um, butterflies on heaven's flowers uh, for another one. So. <laughs> I mean, like, I just wanted to have fun and share with you my experience um, with some perfumes that make you, me feel, feel, just feel, that's my feeling, you know, um, feel sick, feel bad physically. And I really want to hear your feedback about perfumes that make you feel sick. So please comment them down below. I have many more. If you want to see a part two, just let me know. And that's all. If you found this video helpful, interesting, entertaining, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and leave me a comment below which video you want to see from me next and you know I listen to you so yeah I wish you an amazing day stay tuned for tomorrow's video about perfume that I love it's gonna be real good and have a nice day bye